Now watch this. Here's just a little taste of what you'll be up against. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 times anime villains flexed on the hero. You need some motivation, and that's why I've come here to show you my true power! For this list, we'll be looking at the scenes in anime where villains got to show the heroes exactly what they were made of. Which villainous flags gave you the biggest chills? Let us know in the comments, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10. Dio Controls the Stairs JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders It's no secret that the Joestar nemesis has an endless ego, never missing out on a chance to demonstrate his superiority to anyone he views as inferior to him. So, basically everyone. He's had a few shining moments, but nothing compares to his reveal as a stand user. Confronting Paul Nerf, he gives the Frenchman the option of either ascending the stairs to face him, or descend and submit to his will. Despite Paul Nerf's determination, Dio manipulates time again and again to make it seem like Paul Nerf is walking down the stairs in fear. Trolling at its finest. <laughs> Number 9, Yujiro makes an entrance. Baki the Grappler. The world's most dangerous man isn't exactly known for his subtlety. After all, Yujiro spends his days punching out earthquakes and taking on whole militias just to pass time. Zero. So naturally, leaping from a helicopter without a parachute and grappling his way into a high-rise building just to show up his son is another day in the office for him. Impossible. Defying gravity every step of the way, the ogre arrives just in time to show Baki and Hanayama what it means to challenge a true monster of martial arts. So are you warriors or simple cowards? We're both spent, father. Number eight, Tsukasa makes a bridge. Dr. Stone. By this point, we were so blown away by Senku crafting a tank out of seemingly nothing that it slipped our minds that Tsukasa, among other things, is ridiculously strong. Captured by the anti-science brigade, Chrome decides to take the plunge rather than be a prisoner, making the leap towards a certain doom. Tsukasa, deciding it would be better to take him alive, creates an impromptu bridge to save his life, which he makes by ripping a tree out of its roots and tossing it with the speed of a bullet. I mean, what the hell even is he? Number 7. Musen creates a demon. Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. When you need to make a statement and cause a distraction at the same time, nothing beats Musen's instant demon. Hmm. Confronted by Tanjiro, the master of demons is caught unaware for the first time, and as such causes a sudden commotion so he and his family can make a quick exit. How so? By slicing a bystander on the neck at lightning speed, causing him to suddenly convert into a monster. Nothing screams boss quite like being able to conjure new minions on the fly. Number 
6 announcing the Cell Games. Dragon Ball Z. Any good villain can just go out and slaughter their enemies. It takes class to set up an entire tournament, declare it to the world, and wait for your victims to come at you. No contest. Then, a tournament. <laughs> what do you mean? After achieving his perfect form, the ultimate creation sets about making a stage for him to take on Goku and anyone else who wants to try their luck. But the reason I'm here is to announce my decision to hold a martial arts tournament. I'm calling this competition the Cell Games. Given how this would lead to one of Dragon Ball's greatest arcs, we have to hand it to Cell for setting things up so cleanly. Now watch this. Here's just a little taste of what you'll be up against. Number 5. Hideyoshi Punches the Sea Sengoku Buzzara, Samurai Kings He may have been a titan of history, but did you know Toyotomi Hideyoshi was also able to split the sea with just a punch? Portrayed as a giant of a man with dreams of conquest, the strength of this man is off the scale, especially when he takes on whole samurai armies by his lonesome. I promise that you will meet your doom this day! It might be inaccurate as can be, but there's no denying just how epic it is to see this beast wipe out a whole fleet by punching the ocean so hard that it dries up. He parted the very waters! Number 4, Madara asks a question. Naruto Shippuden. There's a reason why this shinobi is considered the greatest villain the franchise ever produced. This just happens to be one of them. Between taking down a whole army by himself and summoning a meteor, Madara asks the gathered Kages this little quip. The implication that he could use the Sharingan's greatest ability multiple times, and on clones no less, is somehow the most low-key yet savage display of power in the entire fourth Great Ninja War. After all, he's not a man known for bluffing. Number 3. Meruem Walks – Hunter Hunter Something so simple and yet speaks volumes. Far from the unempathetic beast he once was, the king of the Chimera Ants shows how much he has changed with his decision to do whatever it takes to save Kamugi's life. And as for the two veteran hunters standing by ready to throw down, Meruem just casually walks past them without a shred of fear. So confident in his abilities that he pays them no mind, something that leaves powerhouses like Netero and Zeno flabbergasted. Number 2. Father Creates a Mini Son Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood There are certainly worse ways to demonstrate the fact you just swallowed God. As an immortal being now at the pinnacle of all things, the father of the homunculus proceeds to show the Elric family just how far he's come since his time as the dwarf in the flask. <laughs> Disabling their alchemy with just a flick of his finger was already next level, but then he goes and summons a miniature sun in the palm of his hand, all in the most casual way possible. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Toguro Destroys the Parking Lot 
Yu Yu Hakusho. Serving as both a reintroduction to the character and a clarification that he was far from the henchman everyone thought he was, Tokoro's return was a monumental moment for the series. You need some motivation, and that's why I've come here. To show you my true power! Not only had he survived his supposed death, but was acting as an envoy of the Dark Tournament, setting the stage for him and Yusuke to have their long-sought rematch. Oh, and he was also far stronger than anyone had given him credit for, evident when he decimated an entire parking lot with just a few punches. Understand, this is the last time I will save your life. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.